Hello, and today we're going to be looking at the microscope. Up here we have the ocular, which is the eyepiece, and this is a 10x magnification. Below that, we have the scanning objective, which has a number four on it. It is the lowest power objective. The next one would be the mid power objective, which has a number 10, and the high power objective, which has the number 40. Below this is the stage, which is this black surface right here. And the hole in the black surface here gives rise to the illumination, which can be turned on and the light can be adjusted. We also see here the stage guide, which allows us to put a slide on and hold it in place. Back here we have the coarse focus knob, which can move the stage up or down in a coarse manner, and the fine focus knob, which can move it up and down in a fine manner. Over here we have the stage adjustment knob, which can move the stage around and get the piece centered. So how would we look at something on the microscope? Well, first I'm going to turn on the microscope here in the back, and then I'm going to lower the stage using the coarse adjustment and I'm going to put the specimen here and secure it using the stage guide. Rotate the objective so the lowest objective, the scanning objective, is here, front and center. Raise the stage to the highest level. You notice it does not bump into the lowest objective. Then I'm going to look through the ocular and I'm going to turn the lights, turn the lights down low so I don't blind myself. And then I'm going to slowly lower the stage using the fine focus until I can see the specimen. Ah, there it is. Looks beautiful. I can use these little stage adjustment things to move the specimen to see just where I want to see it. So now that I have this in focus, I can rotate the objective to the mid power and then only using the fine objective, gently and slowly move it until it is in focus again. And then I can use any higher objective and very gently move it until it is in focus again. At no point should there be resistance because that can be the specimen pressing against the objective. And if you hear a nice crack, please report all breakages to your lab instructor.